rotated circle tangent to uh, circle and line so in this way you can create tangent to uh, lines also so those are where the circle command then this is a revision cloud so if you want to mark some uh, data for revision then you can use this revision cloud so to create this revision cloud you just cl click on that command then specify the start point and just you don't you don't have to click you just have to drag your mouse around the object which you want to mark you don't have to click it it will automatically create and when start and end point will come closer it will automatically close that command and end that command so you can also control the size of the arc by here the arc length option is there suppose i want to increase the arc length so i will say arc length so minimum suppose i want to reduce it i want to make it smaller so i will say minimum is 0.5 and maximum length is suppose 1 so it will create comparatively smaller arcs so in this way you can use the revision cloud command then next is spline command so spline command is useful to show the breaks some breaks are there so to create a spline you have to click on the spline then give the first corner first point then make ortho off it if it is on then just specify the point in zigzag mode one point above and one point below so in that way you can create the spline after that uh, give the enter and he is now asking me specify start tangent so as i rotate the line the shape here is controlled so uh, whatever shape you want as per if that is uh, shape is set there then you just click the line so as per requirement you can control the shape by clicking the line so in this way spline is created so next command is ellipse so ellipse can be created using two methods so you will say first method ellipse then asking me specify axis endpoint of ellipse so you have to give one point then i want a straight ellipse so i will press f8 i will make ortho on then he is asking me the diameter here what is the diameter of the axis so if i say 10 is the diameter then he is asking me radi uh, radius of second axis so first i have to give diameter and after that i have to give the radius so here the ellipse is created or the other one more method is there ellipse then give right click and say center specify the center and specify both the radius from here how much radius uh, you want suppose i want three radius and same way vertical radius suppose five so in this way ellipse is created so in this way but two methods you can create the ellipse then there is a point command is there if you want to create the point so it will create the points so you can view this point in different style also for that you have to give format point style and select the desired style suppose i want to view my points like this so it will be shown like that suppose if i want to draw a line from one point to other point then i will say line then i to catch this point i have to use node object snap by shift right click shift right click say node and click on that point so it will exactly catch that point shift right click node and click so in this way you can use the point to create the object also and uh, one more command is in draw menu bar so it is donut if you want to create a circle with some thickness so suppose specify then is asking me specify inside diameter suppose one is the diameter outside is two so in this way you can create a, th a thickness circle with thickness or if you want to create a filled circle then you say donut and give inside diameter of zero and outside suppose one so it will create a filled circle so the for electrical people it is very useful for showing the wire wire point wire connection points so in this way we have completed some of the draw commands so we will stop here thanks for joining